going on guys? Io Studios here from the Cinema 4D tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys about the wood shader and how to use it and all its different settings. So um, I've just got a basic scene here. I'll show you what it is. I've got a backdrop, I've got a softbox, and I've got some 2x4s um, I guess look like that. Um, and we're going to apply the wood material to these. But um, we're going to go ahead and first we're going to make a new material. Now this will be our wood material. And we're just going to apply it to the wood here. So I'll close up the scene and everything. Put that in there. Okay. So we've got the wood applied to these now. Now we're going to open up this material. And we're going to... Okay, first we're going to call it wood. <clears throat> so to use Cinema 40's wood shader, just go to color, texture, surfaces, and wood. Right at the bottom. So to start out with, to start off, um, we've got some wood. And it doesn't look great. Um, but you can see it's wood. I'll set our preview to plain. Um, and this is kind of our wood. So, <clears throat> when we're talking about these different settings, um, think of the, like, um, <clears throat> the grainy and the grainy scale as one, and the wavy and the wavy scale as one. Um, because uh, one is just, like, the strength of it, and the other... Oops, one is the strength of it, and the other is just kind of how big it is. So, anyway, we'll get to that. So, first what we're going to do is we're going to look at type. Okay, so um, I'm going to use pine wood because I know that's going to look good for these. Um, so we're going to use pine wood, and pine wood is just like a wider, nice kind of wood. Um, and, okay, secondly, the color. This is <clears throat> like, if we look here, I'll bring up this open window, and I will show you really quickly. Massive preview. And, um, you know, if we, for example, make this um, green, you know, we'll have... Um, Part of that will be green, and then maybe we can make the other part um, red if we want to. So, um, it's just kind of being able to use a gradient to decide what color you want the wood. But we're going to undo and undo, because we want this kind of wood. Okay, secondly, the scale. Uh, the scale is just kind of like tiling, I guess. So if we set it to 50%, it'll just kind of make it smaller. And if we set it to like 200%, it'll make it much bigger. <clears throat> so yeah, we're going to leave that at 100%, because that's pretty good. Um, and stretch. Uh, now I'll show you this, because if we go ahead and render this, interactive render region, <clears throat> actually we're going to disable our GI and everything just so that we can get a better preview. Um, the stretch is kind of like, oh, if we go ahead and, so we got this now, right? And if we go ahead and set the stretch to like 1, it kind of doesn't stretch it on the sides. You can see here, if we have the stretch to 20, what it was, um, it stretches on the sides. And you may not want that. So, you can just set it to 1, or even actually 0, if you don't want any stretch. Oh, no, that's not going to work, you have to use 1. Okay, so yeah, if you set the stretch to 1, it won't stretch out as much. Okay, we're going to stop that. So, um, the next thing as well uh, is ring scale. Now, I'm going to open up that massive preview window again. <clears throat> it's pretty handy. So, the ring scale, um, see here, however, like there's a ring here, and a ring here, and a ring here, and a ring here. Well, the scale is just kind of how big those are. So, if we set it to, like, 10... You can see it it makes it like I want to say that it, it makes it it's kind of more like the density I want to say so if we set that to like one <clears throat> it's really dense and um, <clears throat> there's a ring here and a ring here but there's lots of other, or there's the center here and there's lots of rings separating them but if we set it to like you know 10 there won't be as many rings separating it so um, we're going to leave that at 5 again, because that was a pretty good setting. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, so that's kind of what that does. The next thing is graininess. Now, we're going to set this to like, if we set the graininess to 0, it looks <clears throat> way too like hard and not realistic, obviously. So the grain goes a long way towards making this wood look better. So um, <clears throat> if we set the grain to like 30, we will add a bit of grain. And the grain scale, that's kind of how big the grain is. Also, if we set the grain here, I'll try to, I'll set it to 80. And then we get a really, like, grainy um, texture. Anyway, we're going to leave it at, like, 30 or something. Uh, and the grainy scale, that's how big it is. So, that's how big the grain is. So, if we bring it up lots, we'll have, like, a really big, here, I'll bring up the graininess and the scale lots. We'll have a really, like, the grain in the scale is just kind of how big pieces of grain are. So, you know, this might not really be what you want. <laughs> doesn't look great so if we set the grain in the scale down to like 10 it's still gonna be have that like really not that kind of look you want but if you set it down to like one it'll have much more of that kind of wood looking thing one or I think maybe two 
No, no, you probably just want one or less, probably. And the graininess, um, 50, maybe a bit too grainy, um, 40, <clears throat> better, maybe maybe 35. We'll do 35, we'll compromise. Okay, uh, the next thing is wavy. That's how wavy it is. Now, I'm, I'm not really sure how to explain this one, but um, like if we bring it down like to like 1%, it's it's just kind of the waviness, how wavy the um the actual lines are. So this is they're they're pretty straight right now, um, and if we bring it up to like fifty, there'll be much more, like variation. Um, bring them both up to ninety. Hmm. <clears throat> we'll see really like wavy. The curves are a lot more prominent. I want to say I'm not really sure how to explain this one. I wouldn't. I haven't found much use for it. I don't really mess with it that much. But we'll leave it at like 50 and 50 because that seems to work. It just kind of changes how wavy it is. Now, I don't I don't really know how to explain it, but um, I don't find it that useful. Anyway, um, okay, the shift is kind of like an offset. If you bring it up like to 0 point, even like 0, oh, I'm going to put 0, 1. It's kind of like a seed, I want to say. Like, it's if you get it to 1, it, it's like that, you know. I feel like it's kind of like it uses a seed. Um, I don't fully understand what the shift does yet, but to me, it seems more like a seed, kind of. Anyway, different seeds. So, um, annual rings. This can't be explained with a 2D, so we're going to have to set it to a cube. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> we'll put it over here. Nope. Doesn't look great. Okay, but we'll put it right there. Whatever. Uh, so the annual rings just kind of makes it so that, you know, <clears throat> there are, it's more like a tree trunk, right? Um, and if we set it actually also to a cylinder, no, not with GI. Um, you can see here, okay, um, I need to go ahead and do sphere, uh, Taurus GI. Um, here, I'll just use a cylinder, sorry. So this makes it more so that, <clears throat> you know, we've got, um, watch it, that doesn't, that doesn't work. The idea is that you would have these rings up here, right, at the top. Um, like a tree trunk, right? And then you'd have it more stretched out on the side. So that means annual rings just kind of means that, like, um, you'd have, like, the age of the year. Sorry. The age of a tree can actually be measured in how many rings there are. So the idea is that you'd have these rings at the top here so that when you either, like, cut a tree open or cut a piece of wood open, you'd see how many rings there were inside. That's kind of the idea with annual rings. And then also, you know, you can change the waviness here and the wavy scale and everything like that. But we talked about that. It's, it's similar to whatever we talked about before with the wavy scale and stuff that I don't really understand. <laughs> um, also, actually, here, if we got, like, 500, it does that. We set it to, like, 50. It does that. But, anyway, it's kind of just the waviness of the things. So, whatever. Uh, and legacy, that just makes it, like, really bad. So, you don't want to use that. I don't see why you ever would. Um, <clears throat> and there you go. There's the uh, wood shader. So, yeah. Hope you guys... Um, found this useful and I uh, hope you learned something now I'm gonna tweak these settings a bit and make this wood a bit better but I think just setting the scale um, and I will render it and um, yeah I hope you guys have a good day and I hope this tutorial was helpful see you guys later bye